Most room revivals start by removing wallpaper, and there are a few ways to go about it, but I can show you how. Here's what you'll need. A putty knife, a wallpaper scoring tool, a sponge, roller, spray bottle, a bucket, and depending on your wallpaper, a chemical wallpaper remover or an electric steamer. Also, rubber gloves, protective eyewear, and a drop cloth. Try lifting an edge from the wall with a putty knife and slowly peel it back at a 10 to 15 degree angle. If it pulls away somewhat easily, you have strippable wallpaper, which is the quickest to remove. Remove it strip by strip at the edges, pulling at a 10 to 15 degree angle to minimize tears. If the paper continues to tear or simply won't budge, it may be time for a steamer or chemical remover. Before using steamers or chemical wallpaper removers, the wallpaper must be scored in a crisscross pattern to loosen the paper. The scoring tool will prevent damage to the wall. A wallpaper steamer can be purchased or rented at most True Value hardware stores. Just fill the tank with water and heat it electrically according to the manufacturer's instructions. Hold it against the wall and the paste holding the wallpaper will become soft enough to peel away or scrape with a putty knife. Then clean away the remaining adhesive. Most chemical removers need to be mixed with water, so check the instructions for the correct ratio. Apply with a sponge, roller, or spray bottle and let it soak for about a half hour. When the adhesive starts to loosen, scrape the paper away carefully as the wall may have softened as well. Once the paper is removed, use a heavy-duty detergent like trisodium phosphate, TSP, to scrub away excess adhesive. Ask your local hardwarian if you're not sure which detergent will do the job. Once the walls are completely dry, you're ready to start your painting or wallpapering project. That's it. Need more expert advice? Stop by your local True Value hardware store and ask a hardwarian. True Value. Start right. Start here.